and welcome to another edition of vibing with you i always i say edition let me think say this is a big television program but you know what i think i have the voice for tv or the voice for radio so let me keep on saying edition you never know one of these days i'm going to bust and i'm going to bust real big but anyway it's monday and it is actually monday's musing so i had a dental appointment today and uh, while i'm sitting in the chair i'm saying to myself you know a lot of people don't take dental appointment seriously i think it's a joke they actually shy away from going to the dentist i'll be honest it can be a grueling procedure it can be one that is nerve-wracking because if you have a dentist who is not gentle then i'm telling you you're you, trust me after your first experience you'd be tempted not to go back now, if you're someone who's not been exposed to going to the dentist from you were a little person, then that too can be problematic because for a lot of adults, it is intimidating. They really don't want to, you know, go and open up themselves to whatever it is that they will receive. I am fortunate enough to have been going to the dentist twice for the year ever since I was a little girl. That was something that my parents insisted on, okay? They went to the dentist and of course they would ensure that as their child, I was also going to the dentist. So that's kind of like in my mind's eye from a very long time. I will say that I've had an awful experience at the dentist before like when that dentist did finish is like my mouth no feel like it was mine and so I had to change dentist but uh, this particular dentist that I'm with now I have been with for a while Big Up City Dental Dr. Denise Moore uh, she is a dentist of course that's her practice and uh, let's talk about good customer service you know that's what they offer they're very caring my um my doctor today um he's very gentle you know denise was not the one who did the cleaning for me today she wasn't in office but um she does mainly surgeries by the way but um my doctor today was very very gentle very thorough you know very i felt comfortable and that is what i i actually want because to be honest if you know me you know i don't like doctors none at all i love what they do i respect what they do but there's just something about doctors that i don't love and I think it's because they tend to know what is going on inside of me, inside my body, before I know. And I don't think that's where it's my body, so I should know first, right? But that's why they are the experts. Anyway, um, so I was making the point that there are those persons who probably don't see it as important to go to the dentist, but it is. And going to the dentist is not just limited to huh, wanting pearly whites, having a nice smile, you know, getting rid of just the buildup of plaque that's on your teeth, or... Um, perhaps just putting in braces and all of that. It's not about just the fashion side, but going to the dentist is so important because your oral health will actually give vital information for uh, what is going on in other areas of your body. Very important. Now, I have had my friends who are dentists talk about persons coming into them and based on what they see going on in their in their mouth they were able to say in their mouths really they were able to say to them hey you need to go see your gp because there is x and y and z that you may need to check out all right so it's very important that you're going now we're living in a time period too where it's beyond just having dental caries you know that's an hour we expect people to have all of these little things going on where they will need to do like fillings etc fillings doesn't always mean that you have a cavity filling can mean that you have rubbed away perhaps the enamel of your teeth as is the case for me for the second time in my life i have one tooth on this side right here that I've managed to do that. I was told you're brushing too hard. Now, as a child growing up, you know, your mother said, Listen, man, your teeth are not for yellow, so go scour your teeth. <laughs> and that's exactly what I was doing, not knowing that eventually it would lead to some amount of uh, damage. So I have to use a soft toothbrush and I have to try 
and take my own sweet time to rub in circular directions to get my teeth cleaned. Now for this trip I'm going and I'm understanding that there is a tooth somewhere around this side that I have rubbed away the enamel as well. It's not as bad but he's saying to me to ensure that it doesn't wear down anymore and that the root is not further exposed or become super sensitive. It's best that I actually feel that. So I'm going to go up, go back and I'm going to do that. But um, that aside, we have to remember that there are things such as like oral cancer. You can pick up on that by going to your dentist, you know. They may notice certain things that's happening on your gum line or on your tongue, on your teeth, you name it, right? And they're, they're um, well, my dentist, I don't know if every dentist does this, but my dentist is very uh, thorough and this is why I like it. They have a particular examination that you do and, um, you know, they keep a file on you and they will run the types of x-rays that are needed there so that they can see all the way down to everything that's going on and listen everything is computerized a file is created for you so later on if there's anything that they need to cross check it's not skipping through papers the image comes up in front of you and they're taking you through the process to explain what is going on so i'm making the point that oral health is important remember now you know you use your mouth for a lot of things okay it's not just your pretty smile. You're talking to people and you want to make sure that your breath is always smelling fresh. Foul breath is not good. Now, let me just caution that everybody who may have a little weird scent coming from their mouth, it might not mean that they're nasty individuals and people going to tease them, like, their mouth stink. It's not always that. There are some persons who take medication and based on the medication, it will actually cause a particular scent. It's hard sometimes to define what the scent may be. For some, it smells a little bit metallic, you know. Um, they'll have different scents coming forward because of medication that is taken. For other persons, it might be as a result of health conditions, you know. Something else might be going on in the body and it triggers to the mouth. So halitosis is real. There are some persons who have that aggressively and the fight to really curtail that is difficult. So sometimes you might smell a person's mouth smelling funny. Um, find a nice way to say, hey, is something going on? Be nurturing and be compassionate and be kind in communicating that information. Because remember now, you don't just look at people and know what's going on in their lives, okay? Um... So I was making the point that it's not just about your pretty smile. Uh, it's not just about um, getting the cleaning going on. There are crevices and corners in your mouth that you as an individual will not be able to reach. Like around here, closer to where my ears is. See here? All of this here says still a part of my oral cavity. I don't even know if that's the right term, but I'm calling it the oral cavity. And when I touch here, I can feel that there are things here. But can my toothbrush get around here? No, it can't. So I will need the assistance of the dentist now to get into the crevices and the corners that I can't. So that, you know, if there's any buildup, if there's any plaque, you know, getting in between with the floss all the way at them tooth at the back. The teeth, sorry. They say just tooth as if it's one. But we'd have had four, top and bottom on both sides, right? Just to get behind those areas and get them clean. That's important. So we need to consult our dentist so our dentist can work the magic around there for us, right? I know my teeth. They're very tight. And so flossing oftentimes is such a problem. I've tried different uh, floss, you know, from wax to satin, you name it. I have tried it. And we result in the same thing always that my teeth is ripping up that floss okay so um i've even gotten the dental pick and i'm very careful with that because it can create damage on yourself if you don't know what you're doing um just the floss but it is very difficult for me to do it but i still try um you know you use your mouth to eat and so that's bacteria you know your mouth is actually filthier than your vagina filthier than a penis filthier than many other parts of your body so it's important for you to be cleaning that all the time all right um your mouth too you have to kiss people you know what i mean you have to kiss people and that's your saliva that is coming in contact once you're kissing like that it becomes intimate so you want to make sure that you're protecting your mouth because it's no longer just about you but it is also about the person that you might be kissing and i'm hoping that that's your partner if it's an intimate kiss like that but outside of intimacy you know if you're from certain cultures you're greeting somebody mwah, mwah, you're kissing on the cheek it's still coming in close contact with the person so you want to make sure that that is okay but as i said to you it's a real thing and i believe when i was a little girl going to school 
I think there was so much emphasis placed on oral health. I was a brownie and I can remember doing a lot of um, advocacy work trying to get persons to understand how important it is for them to take charge of their oral health. I don't really see where that is happening in the school system today. I remember that you used to have like some dental clinics that would come in and they would meet the students at the school and clean their teeth. That's how serious it was. I'm not seeing that taking place now and perhaps that is something that we should revisit so we can culture the little children from an early age so that they can go through the process so that when they are way older they will be okay you know what i mean just and be comfortable going to the dentist but um a lot more awareness needs to go into it but you know check out your dentist it's not as bad if you go to one and you have a bad experience try another one okay or visit the one that i'm recommending here city dental very good they're located on the uh sovereign village i think it is Yes, Sovereign Village in Portmore. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there might be a practice somewhere in Kingston. I can double check and I'll leave that information for you if you are so desirous. But honestly, guys, oral health, it is important. You know, take care of your mouth. <laughs> take care of your mouth. It's just one of those things that you only have one off. All right. And it is something that you use on a daily basis because once you're having any form of verbal communication with people, you can't help but ha, 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 ha. people can't see in your mouth so you know take care of your mouth guys all right so that's a wrap just remember oral health is important thank you so much for watching this video like share comment subscribe and of course like always i will see you in the next video